When it comes to the U.S. Air Force, acquiring aircraft involves more than just purchasing one. You then have to test it. With the U.S. Air Force Academy's recent purchase of 19 new gliders, to replace some of its aging gliders, the 445th Flight Test Squadron at Edwards Air Force Base has the job of testing one of the Academy's new TG-16A gliders. We've been tasked by uh, AETC and the, uh, the SPO for the Air, uh, Air Force Academy to uh, make sure that the new gliders that they just purchased uh, are going to be safe for their cadet uh, indoc indoctrination training and also uh, it's going to be a, a dual purpose glider that's going to be used for their aerobatic training program for the cadets. The SOAR for All program or the glider training that's done by the Air Force Academy is the introduction to flight for the Air Force Academy cadets. Uh, you're taking uh, young 18 and 19 year olds uh, that are going to go into a career in the Air Force. Uh, they're going to need to be air power experts and yet many of them never had any flying experience of their own. Uh, so these gliders are going to be their first time sitting in the front cockpit of an, of an airplane uh, with or without a, uh, an engine. Uh, but they get to feel the, the thrill of flight and the basic principles. So whether they're going to be a JAG or an uh, air battle manager or, or, a, or a pilot, uh, everybody gets a basic uh, understanding of what it's like to be in the air and fly these new airplanes. In addition to testing how the glider reacted to differing weight distribution, team members had to test additional parameters in order to certify this type of aircraft for its next phase of testing. We're doing some uh, spin checks to see how resistant it is uh, to ensure that a cadet or someone with no flying experience can fly this safely. So our, the test pilots here are going to gauge that as well. Once we finish this out, which will take us uh, probably another week, uh, we, our, our next task here at uh, Edwards Air Force Base is to make sure that the crosswind component, its ability to land in, in high winds, uh, will be safe. So we're waiting for gusty winds. Uh, and we're going to uh, make sure that I can take it out toward uh, 20 knots of crosswind or so. Uh, following that, uh, we're going to take this glider and uh, a couple others that are currently being delivered to the Air Force Academy, and we're going to uh, take, them through its, take the glider through its paces in its operational environment. Uh, and the tow plane, which is here at Edwards, isn't the same one they use at the, at the Air Force Academy. So we want to make sure that takeoff performance is done in, in its environment uh, in the heat of the summer where takeoff performance is the worst and make sure it's still safe for cadet operations. Jet Fabera, Edwards Air Force Base, California. This has been Dateline Edwards. If you have questions or comments, we'd like to hear from you. Please send us an email at channel.6 at edwards.af.mil. Thank you.